it for you. Well, here we are deep in the wildwood. There are dear rabbit critters bound to be around here somewheres on account of our seas, his footy prints. Hey, there's the vomit now. Come to them, daddy, little the weasel. Persistent little cusses, ain't they? Damn, pumpkin head. We got them cornered, cut. over here in this hollow log. What's up, Doc? I'm kind of busy. There's a hunter on my trail, and I'm hiding from him in here. Uh-oh, here he comes now. Oh, excuse me, I gotta get back in this log. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm Elmer Fudd, and I'm hunting for a wabbit. A little gray cottontail rabbit, and I'm gonna have him for dinner. <laughs> uh oh, rabbit twacks. Oh. 
some yards. Rabbits are fighting with each other now. The lynx is. Good. Yeah, we just kind of bouncing around everywhere. It was pretty cool though. That was awesome. So uh, we got some snowshoe here that uh, Roddy and uh, his buddies uh, went out and, and got. And uh, so we broke it down to a few different things. We're going to do a couple different things with it. We're taking the thicker part from the, the back legs and we're going to take the meat right off and we're going to pound it out a bit, make it into a nice kind of like a little roll up. Um, similar to a chicken cordon bleu. Uh, again, basic simple cooking that you can do with any kind of foods and that's what uh, the whole idea of this is. And these are, you know, they kind of look like little chicken wings and these are the front legs and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make them into wings. Um, and here we got some of the rest of the meat, the back strap and that. We're going to take this out and make some uh, chicken strips. But of course it's not going to be chicken, it'll be rabbit. You can do this really easy out in the bush, right? You just throw in a little seasoning, throw in some sauce and teriyaki, some hot sauce, whatever you want. Wrap it in foil and throw it over the fire. Okay. Now let's get a little crust going on these suckers. We're going to spread them out nice and evenly on a couple baking sheets. But again, if you're out in the woods or in the bush, you're hunting and stuff, just wrap them in a bit of foil, put them over the fire. And they won't take long. They don't have a ton of meat on them. Again, this is a good snack food, eh? This is what we're doing. This is for the boys come over to watch the football game. You're out hunting after a great day of being out in the bush and throw a couple of these in, have a couple of beers or whatever. Hey, so uh, now we're on to gonna make some chicken strips or bunny strips. And let me tell you, these guys got a whole bunch, a whole mess of them. So I cut them into strips. This is all a lot from the back strap and they aren't a ton of them. It's a couple there. Oh, you're gonna see that. You wanna get the, the silver skin off, so we'll, we'll move that over there now. So, so what you wanna do is you wanna bread them and coat them properly. Proper breading, flour, egg wash, and then put your breading on. Get like that and stick it into an egg wash and 
roll it into the breading. The breading. I'm using uh, cornflake crumbs. I like them. They come up crispier, and you don't have to deep fry. So a lot of times, you're not going to want to be dealing with a lot of hot oil out in the bush and stuff like that, or even at home, right? So grab a few pieces. Hey, so we're back. So uh, we're, now we're on to a little bit more of. Uh, most of the stuff we do is very simple, and this is simple, it just requires a couple extra steps. We're going to make like a chicken cordon bleu. So we got a lot of lovely meat from the back thighs of the, uh, of the, of the, uh, of the hairs. Here's some wax paper, parchment paper. We got our nice pieces of snowshoe hair from the back part there, right off the uh, hind legs, a nice fatty piece there. Cut it off, deboned it pound it out nice and flat so we're gonna bake it into uh, like a chicken corn on blue again it sounds difficult but it's an easy one two three step you take it off you pound it flat throw in a nice piece of honey ham or black forest ham just throw it and cut your meat on we like to use it traditionally as a Swiss cheese you can use an Edam a Havarti the boys you go hunting with are gonna think you're some kind of gourmet chef so that you put your meat your cheese on and you just give it a nice little roll up like this. So, what, step one, flatten it out. Step two, roll it up with the meat and cheese. So a little flour, stick it in, just do a little egg wash. And then put it in for your breading. Again, I like using the cornflake crumbs. Unless you want to deep fry it to get that real crisp, these do a great job of keeping crispy and season your cornflake crumbs a little bit. Your buddies will love them when they're out in the bush at home. Want snowshoe hair, just like chicken. And there you go, chicken cordon bleu with snowshoe hair. Yeah, that's all, folks.